As an ally, Italy joined Germany in Operation Barbarossa. But why did Italy have to take part in this operation? I mean, Italy's military situation was by the time Barbarossa kicked off more than strained looking at the North Africa campaign. And Italy had no territorial claims to the USSR. I mean, Italo-Soviet relations prior to the invasion were fairly good. In this video, you will learn why Mussolini decided to stand shoulder to shoulder with Adolf Hitler in his crusade to the east. Why Italy joined Operation Barbarossa. And good to have you back to the channel and if you're new, I'm Stefan, I'm a Dutch history teacher and I'm hustling history for you. And if you like that, well, consider subscribing, also hit that notification bell and feel free to share this content via social media, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, you name it. Let's start. During World War I, Italy joined the side of the Entente in 1915 because of the secret treaty of London where Italy was promised territorial expansion. After the war ended, Italy was one of the victors, but the victory of the First World War felt like a mutilated victory because Italy had suffered over 600,000 military deaths. Furthermore, the territorial expansion Italy was promised was very limited because Italy had to compete with a new state and I'm talking about the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes that later would become the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Therefore, Italy gained only limited territorial expansion. Before the outbreak of World War II, the Italian military had fought in Ethiopia, Spain and Albania. In May 1939, the Pact of Friendship of and Alliance between Germany and Italy was signed. This Berlin-Rome axis was a military and political alliance between Italy and Germany. Later, in September 1940, the alliance was strengthened when Germany, Italy and Japan signed the Tripartite Pact officially forming the Axis powers. Italy took part in the invasion of France and occupied a part of the nation after France was defeated by Germany. Italy invaded Greece unsuccessfully, but Germany came to its aid, invading both Yugoslavia and Greece successfully. Italy was now able to expand its territory while it took control of some of the Yugoslav territories and also occupied a big part of Greece. But why did Italy take part in Operation Barbarossa? I mean, Italy strived for territorial expansion but had no claims to the USSR. Contrary to German Nazism where the Nazis wanted to conquer Lebensraum, li living space in Eastern Europe, the Italian fascists had no such ambitions. Sure, they had territorial ambitions but these more looked like this. So no claims to Eastern Europe. It all started in the early morning of the 22nd of June 1941. The German invasion of the USSR, yes, but also Mussolini, who was awakened by a phone call of his foreign minister, Galeazzo Ciano, also his son-in-law. Hitler had informed him he had invaded the USSR. Before that, there were no consultations between Germany and Italy. However, Mussolini was very well aware of the fact that Hitler wanted to invade the USSR. He immediately pledged his support to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Germans to fight the Soviets. And so, at daybreak, Italy too was at war with the Soviet Union. The swiftness shows that Mussolini was not surprised by the fact that Hitler had invaded the USSR. Since late 1940, Mussolini had been receiving hints that an invasion was upcoming. He was given a clear picture by his agents as well as politicians from the other Axis nations. By May 1941, Rome knew an invasion was imminent and was also aware of operational plans and strategic objectives. The campaign, as military attaché Eficio Maras reported from Berlin, was expected to take place between July and September to last for approximately two and a half months and to culminate in the occupation of Leningrad, Moscow, the entire Ukraine and the oil fields of the Caucasus. Hitler and Mussolini had met 
on the 2nd of June 1941 at the Brenna Pass. According to Goebbels, Mussolini was given a rough outline of Hitler's plans for the so-called final solution of the Russian question that could only be achieved by military means. By that time, Mussolini was determined not to let Germany conquer the USSR alone. The Germans had hinted they wanted to invade the USSR without Italy. And that has to do with the poor military results of the Italian army during the previous Balkan campaign. Mussolini already ordered his chief of general staff to prepare three divisions for possible deployment in the Soviet Union in case of a German-Soviet war. According to Mussolini, Italy had to take part in a battle against communism. Hitler had his reservations and wanted Mussolini to focus on the Mediterranean. And from a military standpoint, Hitler was correct since Italy's military situation was more than strained. So why did Mussolini decide to send troops to the Eastern Front? First, Mussolini had a thirst for glory. And this resulted in the fact that he often acted impulsive without considering the possible consequences. He just dived into the new adventure, hoping for glory. Second, Mussolini's decision had quite an ideological component to it. The hatred against communism was one of the guiding principles of fascism. This despite the fact that Italo-Soviet relations had been fairly good. Both nations rejected the post-World War I order in Europe and had signed a non-aggression pact in 1933. The war against the Soviet Union thus realigned the ideological fronts, but it also had direct repercussions for the dynamics of the tension-filled German-Italian alliance. And this brings me to the third point, and that is that Italy wanted to redeem itself. Because of the Italian military failures during the Balkan campaign as well as in North Africa, Germany viewed Italy as a lesser power, but now there was a chance for the Italians to redeem themselves. And also Mussolini hoped that once Germany emerged victorious from a war with the USSR, Germany would be weakened so that Germany was not the only country that could dictate the new terms in Europe. Fourth. The war against the USSR was seen as a variant of the war against Great Britain. See, Britain controlled territories in the Middle East and North Africa, Italy also aimed for. It was anticipated that the USSR was defeated quickly and thus an invasion of the British territories in the Middle East from the Caucasus through Persia would be possible. And the fifth reason was purely economic. since. Italy hoped to share the spoils of war once the USSR was defeated. Italy lacked raw minerals and the USSR had these minerals, so Italy hoped it would also achieve coal, metal and oil. According to historian Hans Waller, who wrote a biography about Mussolini, Mussolini made the decision to go to war with the USSR quite alone. The Italian Corps that was sent to the USSR was named the Italian Expeditionary Corps in Russia. One year later, the Italian Army in Russia was set up. I hope to release more content about Italians on the Eastern Front. If you're interested in that, please leave a message. Thanks as always for watching. Feel free to share this video with all your friends. Big shout out to my patrons and a special thanks to Philip Jordan, Jakob Mosland, Nick Terranova, Haley Berry, Mark Little Hale, Janusz Ojonkiewicz, Joan, Justin Trabell, Peter King, Tanya Dixie, Henry Clarkson, Rob Park, Andrea Martic, Ilya Yud, Fernando Lopez Ojeda, and Mike West. And if you'd like to learn about why Hungary joined the fight against the Soviet Union, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and Arvidechi.